has a goal tonight. He needs one here. Very slow. It's a right pad save for Faust, who remains undefeated at the NHL level. This team is amazing. I'll tell you what, you think of the adversity that they dealt with in this game, and they just plain gutted it out. Tonight he stops 28 of 30, 6 and 0. Goals against 1.74, 933 save percentage. Hey, he's been he's been a huge story in the early going here for the Ducks. The beat goes on for the 30-year-old from Sweden. He's standing by with Kent French. Victor, you're very serious all the time when you're playing, as rightfully you should be. Can you smile after this one? There it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, today it feels great. I mean, winning here, it's uh, it's not many teams that has done that this year. Six for six to start your NHL career. I mean, can you put that in perspective at all? Uh, I don't think so, and I don't think we should either. I mean, it's early in the season, and um, uh, there's many games left, and uh, it's all about winning games. And uh, I think we, we, we did an incredible good job today, and we, we followed our game plan all through uh, the whole game. So uh, that's what uh, gave us the win today. The controversial goal in the second period that went over your shoulder, how frustrating was that for you and how were you able to kind of rebound and kind of get your wits about you again and get back out there? I mean, you have to focus on the next puck. I mean, it was a bad bounce and it uh, hit my uh, shoulder and just uh, rolled over my back and into the net. So uh, it's not much, much you can do except for make the save instead. I mean, but uh, it's just focus on the next puck and that's, that's what it's about as a goalie. Two four on threes in the overtime period. How much credit do you give to your defense too to clear the puck and, and really let you see the puck? I mean, they 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 fire incredible in front of me. I mean, they I don't know how many shots they blocked in the PK there in the overtime. So, I mean, Ali, I mean, boy, boys, boys played really good. Finally, you've never been in the shootout. Now you're back-to-back -back shootouts right now. What did you learn from the shootout in St. Louis that you brought into this one tonight? Uh, maybe try to take. Uh, take some more more pucks <laughs> <laughs> I think I made one save in St. Louis and uh, we still won so I just try to focus on making the saves today and uh, it went well I mean Corey and uh, also Cox who had the first shot I mean it's great great penalty shooters congratulations on the big win thank you alright guys let me send it back to you yeah, Johnny, thank you very much uh, with Andrew Cogliano and uh, people high-fiving you, a lot of smiles out here. How do you guys keep coming back? It seems like this hockey club just never quits. Yeah, you know, I think right now we're uh, we're responding when uh, there's adversity, and I think that um, shows a lot about our group. I think this was a, a big win, um, especially with the, f the four on three kills in overtime. Those are, are tough penalties to kill, especially against this team, so uh, that was a big win for us. Your biggest penalty killer is your goaltender. You just talk about the way Victor Foss came through tonight. Yeah, he's been unbelievable, and um, you know, last game he was disappointed in his play, and um, he had a great game tonight, and uh, he was there when we needed him, so uh, he's been spectacular for us this season, and, and hopefully can continue with him. All right, under three to go in the third period take me through your goal and I think the, the look on your face after it went in said it all yeah you know it was the right place at the right time and um, it was just one of those goals where you go to the net and you get rewarded and I think it was uh, uh, fitting for uh, our team and we had uh, a lot of chances and um, you know I think it was it was a good goal to, to score and bring us into overtime and what does it say about your hockey club going up against the best team in the NHL and coming away with a victory? Uh, it says a lot. I think you know we have a lot of work to do. We're, we're, uh, we have things that we obviously need to get better at, but right now we're, we're playing good hockey, and we really feel like we have four lines and, and 60 that are playing well, and especially the goalies. So um, it's, it's a good feeling. We're, we're feeling good about ourselves, and, and hope we continue with the next two games on the road trip. Andrew, congratulations. Enjoy this one for a little bit. Yep, thank you. Yeah, that, was pretty, that was pretty cool. I mean, you know... Uh, I thought, okay, things aren't going to, when we miss, when you don't, have, you have a five on three and you don't score. And then I didn't know uh, that call in Toronto, the longer they kept going on with it, I thought, okay, it's a goal. I mean, but I don't know how they overturned it, but they must have a view that I don't, I don't have. And then when we had the two uh, four on threes, I'm going, you know, once we killed the first one, I said, we killed it so well, I didn't expect to get another one, but we did. And. We killed that off. I was uh, pretty confident that we were going to do good in the shootout. You had a lengthy conversation with the referee between the second and third. What were they explaining to you and trying to get across to you? He's my next-door neighbor in Hershey. I was asking <laughs> if my house was, was still okay. Um, and then I asked him, I said, did you see it? Uh, what were they saying? And they said they saw the puck over the, over the line be, uh, before the pegs came out. And I was asking him, 
did you blow the whistle or were you intending to blow the whistle? And he said he just didn't think it was in. I mean, he I, I didn't give me an affirmative answer on, on that, or I didn't hear it or, or what have you. But The two four-on-threes that you alluded to in the overtime period, just talk about Victor Faust and him coming up big again tonight. Yeah, no, he played, uh, he made the saves that he had to, to make, but I think of the four on three, it was the three guys in front of him that did all the damage. They didn't have any really good chances, and they blocked shots, got in lanes, and and made it tough for the, the Hawks to, to make a play. Did we call this a, a measuring stick game? What did this tonight or tell you about your team? Again, the, the character, the ability to come back, the never say die, no matter what's going on around you, I think is very important, and uh, um, and that's what it tells me. It tells me that we've played, it's, you know, a quarter of the season gone, but we've played some really good teams, and we're competing with them. And it's it's not training camp weight or training camp shape that we're in anymore. It's, uh, uh, it's you know, we need wins. The, every other team needs wins, and we seem to be coming through. So I think, we're, I, think, I think we're gaining confidence as a unit every time we go out there. Coach, appreciate the time. Congratulations on the big one tonight. Thank you. All right.